Okay, if you already use the device list to set up the um, basic configuration of the microscope to communicate with the cell sense, now we can use another um, set called the device setting to set more detailed configuration to each of the hardware connected to the software. Uh, similarly to the device list, it's located in the start page or you can find it in the acquire and the device and go to device settings. So if you open device settings and uh, on the left hand side uh, the panel you can see it here that's where your configuration you can name it or you can create a new one or you can copy uh, the device configuration you can rename it you can delete it um, you can save it into a copy so later on um, you can reload it into the device configuration and it will be reload exactly the parameter you set it up before you can see here there's a couple of uh, um, configuration list has been uh, reloaded into this software but currently we use the last one um, at the bottom you can sort it out pretty much all the hardwares connected to the microscope and the software either use the light pass uh, or use the unit type so I usually uh, prefer to use the light path so I can just go with the from one by one category so you don't miss out anything and also you can always go back to device list from here uh, to re reset things if you need to so first you can see a camera if you click on the camera you can see here you can change some basic properties of the camera you can determine uh, it, this, it really depends on the camera you have uh, configured into the software like for this one you can choose a camera operating uh, either by 12-bit or 16-bit grayscale because it's a monochrome camera and there's a mirror in it you can choose the horizontal or vertical it will flip the image as you take in it and you can choose e either you want to seal the color off or you can use the saturation indicator etc um, like exposure time you can choose it manually you want the maximum five seconds or you can bring that up to 10 seconds if you want to and automatic you want it to automatic maximum to one second or even longer there's some basic information about the cameras uh, etc and camera adapter we're using a one-time camera adapter um, in this case so I just choose one and then for the general you have your nose piece um, here's very important you register all your objective lens here uh, I only have four lenses uh, currently uh, attached to this microscope it's very important because uh, the software is going to use this information to calculate the scale bar and etc uh, for your image if you put a wrong um, objective lens linked with the wrong number and it will give you a wrong scale bar and also if you uh, use other devices uh, such as ZDC with the objective uh, not all ob objective um, lenses are compatible with ZDC so if you choose the wrong one later on you will find that you have difficult when you use ZDC so make sure this is properly registered uh, quite often you just um, need to register them once unless you change your objective lens quite frequently um, the escape distance that's when you change the objectives uh, you don't want the objective directly swing because uh, uh, for the higher magnification one they may um, touch your uh, sample slide or so you give it a bit of room for it to swing um, and also take the display messages when using immersion objectives so if you use the oil immersion or any kind of a water Im immersion objective lens they give you a message when you change it back to make sure you either clean the lens or uh, put the proper uh, immersion uh, agent on, on the lens and then you can see here is a mirror turret this is where you put in your fluorescence cube uh, and again you have to register the crowd into the right position so later on when you program or put together a observation method you want the software to command the, um, command the microscope to give you the right mirror cube in the right place there, if it's uh, uh, you put the wrong one in the wrong position and later on you will find uh, in the observation method it will be wrong so this has to be completed with the actual uh, caution 
to make sure it's everything is correct. And the left port changer, I don't have it. Uh, if you do have a left port changer, you can set up here. And the four stages, uh, we have a, a Olympus SSU stage here. You can control it X and Y. You can invert it. Um, sometimes in your stage navigator, you find out when you move to the left, it actually shows to the right. It means um, it's inverted. This is where you can change it, either X and Y directions. You can uh, change it the direction to make it the physical movement of the stage actually corresponding to whatever you see in the software. Um, next one is X3Z stage. This is uh, um, the nose PC built it on this frame. It's driven move around uh, along the Z uh, axis. You can adjust the speed. Um, currently, the limit is set up as a number. I'll show you guys how to set up the limit later on. Uh, the last devices I have here is a ZDC. Uh, for the D, uh, Z drift compensator. Um, Again, you for the ZDC we have two versions. For for the one I have here is the DC one, so it's just called ZDC. Another more advanced version called ZDC two. Uh, it's quite clever when you configure the device uh, with the software at the device list. It recognize the device and it give you the option only available for that particular device. For example, for the DC, this is the uh, the option you have. You can control. Uh, the initial searching range, either with uh, the air, or the water, or glycerol, you can set up into a different range. But be careful when you set it up, because you don't want it to be set up to um, a wide range. So when the search it goes through the really wide range, it may hit the slide or damage your sample. So you really have to customize a bit here. But the def default setting here is uh, 500 for the air. And search start position is current position so whenever you leave the uh, the objective uh, usually you, you focus on your sample and it's a search from that position and objective you use the current so the ZDC will use the current objective uh, to search it as we go down here uh, I don't have a reflective shutter attached on the microscope uh, for transmitted light pathway, we have a halogen lamp. Once you select this one, there's not much properties you can set up here, but uh, in the microscope control, you can control the voltage to adjust the intensity of this lamp. Uh, for the condenser, uh, here is opportunity you can put in different type of prisms and phase rings and into the condenser, which just allows you to use to do uh, phase contrast observation or DIC observation, or polarized observation, etc. Um, again, it's a similar to the mirror torrent. You have to set up uh, corresponding to whatever you actually have in the condenser to make the right for the different observation method. Uh, aperture stop and the polarizer uh, that's uh, built in this condenser. So later on in the microscope control, you can see option to control the polarizer goes in and out. Um, that's about the device setting. So overall, you have uh, pretty much a second tier of control for all your hardwares from the device setting. Compared to the device list, which is uh, set to the fundamental structure of the microscope to connect uh, with the software, um, device setting is more like a second tier. You can set more detailed parameters to each of the hardware uh, to tell them what kind of a device you attached to the nose piece, what kind of things you have in the condenser turret. So later on, when you set up your observation method, this will be very useful.